Hello and welcome back to another episode of Sea of Cinders. Can you guess where we are? We are over here next to the first uh, dungeon. Grabbing the last emerald that we need. I guess we might as well just pick up this core. Assuming it's not a trap. That would be so mean. And now I guess we head back over to our base to the monument. Uh, we'll put up the emerald block, I believe. And then we'll just head on over to the fortress. And deal with that. Hopefully. I have some more theories I want to share with you, but let's, let's just walk back here, because this is not very safe. <laughs> There we go. Made it back in one piece. We're good. Whew. So I enchanted some stuff. What did I enchant? I enchanted the bow and I got uh, power free and breaking free, which is kind of crap, but we could combine it. It's just that it would take uh, 13 levers to do so. And we are still 27, which still would give us some, like one high lever enchant at least. But. The problem with that is that there's just nothing I really like <laughs> uh, available to us right now on the enchanting table, so I'm not sure what we're gonna do. I was looking at books and picks and swords and everything and nothing really. Bonus objective complete, sweet. Doing amazing things, just one, one block missing right here. Uh, so I guess I can show you, we would get on the Boots Depth Strider, which I mean that's not a bad thing, but it's really useless here. And I mean that could be like a crap protection and then it's just a useless pair of boots. And on the leggings it's fire protection free, which I mean, maybe that's still worth it at this point, but I'd rather just have protection four, to be honest with you. And on a book we would be getting a respiration, which is also <laughs> very much... Uh, useless here because of the, there's no water here <laughs> so it's not worth it to enchant either of those things and then i don't know what else i could enchant i could enchant my axe maybe uh on a sword we would be getting sweeping edge which i guess maybe that would be kind of useful i don't know I'd, I'd just rather have more sharpness to be honest with you and i don't really have the levers to spare to just like throw some random crap on it so i don't really know what we're gonna do here um, it feels like a waste not to enchant anything, is the thing. So I kind of want to enchant something, but I just don't know what. I could try another bow. What would we get on another bow? I thought I had another bow. I guess I don't. I thought I made two. Power three. I mean, we already have that. Definitely not worth it. Ah, man, I guess we could look for a chest plate. Yeah, I guess let's look at a chest plate. I've not done that. Because our chest plate is not, it's not bad, but it's not like the greatest. Thorns, ugh, thorns is really bad. Yeah, the enchanting table is just not giving us what we would like to have right now. So that's kind of frustrating. And I'm pretty sure the enchants are the same if I do this, right? Actually, no, they're not, they're crappier. Forest one, what do we get? Protection free, that might be a decent one to grab, I guess. Uh, fire protection free, we don't want, I think. I'm not sure. Do we go for the boots and hope that there's something else on there? I mean, we would like feather foring on top of that. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh, just protection, but I guess we'll switch it out. Ugh. <laughs> Not happy about that. Prod 4, that's nice at least. Yeah, so we want we want some levers now. Force 2. Why? Let's go away with that. <laughs> and then we have the mending book still, but I, I don't really think I need it anything right now it's not it's not important that's what I'm saying because I, I mean if we lose our stuff we're not losing it to you know it breaking uh, we're losing it to lava or explosions I guess 
and then obviously there's no point to uh, having mending on it then. So another theory, uh, I, I promise you a theory, I have theory. I, I mean, I, I had that theory before. Uh, the fact that the rail line from this tower to this train station goes like this and not like this made me think that there's something underground here. And when I rode the rail back from over there, I heard a gas spawn and I went up here and looked for it and I couldn't find it. Which makes me think that it wasn't one of those gas spawns because I heard it like here. But it wasn't there, which makes me think that there's like a big underground room with gas spawners. They either have very long range uh, gas spawners, or we went really close by it with the with the rail with the, with the minecart. So those are my my new that's my new proof for the existence of an underground area below the citadel of whatever flame. That's not what it's called. It's called Cinder Fortress. Uh, I, ha I have made some more potatoes, but we don't need them. So I guess we just head back over there. I don't know, get some more levers, make the pants. Uh, see? We're spawning gas down here. It's like the two gas like here. I thought I had a cart here. Did I break that cart? I brought a cart back here. I didn't break it, I'm pretty sure. Because I, I thought, well, I'll just leave it here. I'll need it again. this safe yet. Now I have. Also I should have either like, I don't know, like cutting for a couple of seconds doesn't seem worth it. <laughs> and muting the, the sound and just just to unmute it once we reach our destination also didn't feel worth it. So we had to sit there in silence with me waiting for that minecart ride to end. Well, I'm not, I mean, I, I think it was fine. I'm still really tempted to just do something stupid and end the pearl over to the fortress, but it's just, it's not a good idea. It can't be. <laughs> we'll spawn some charge creepers and they'll blow everything up. It's not, it's not a good idea. It's just so, such a tempting thought to do that, you know? Like I know it's a bad idea, but I can't shake, I can't shake it, you know? Is it two crits that I need? I'm not actually sure. I've not used a sword enough. <laughs> well, I've not really been paying attention when I was using it to know how many hits it takes to kill things. Uh, but I mean, from here now, it's not going to matter anyway because we're not fighting many like normal zombies and skeletons. <laughs> so health and armor values are, you know, anyone's guess anyway. So we know there's a spawner like right in there. What is it? What did I see there? Did you see that? Did I imagine that? I thought I saw maybe it was an enderman walking by. That looked really weird, like a shadow walking by that gap. So we know there's a spawner in there. We know there are spawners up. There's a villa skeleton spawner up here. And I, I think there's a baby zombie pigment spawner somewhere in that tower. Uh, and we know there's a normal pigment spawner in that room. We should rush one of them at least. I don't know which is the least scary one to rush. <laughs> and there are some more spawners out in the courtyard, at least one that I'm aware of. Hmm. Maybe we should end up up there. <laughs> Might be a really st stupid idea. We do have TNT though. Ah, it's so tempting. I don't think there's a spawner on this. I don't know what this is even. It looks really weird. 
I don't trust it. <laughs> but it, it doesn't look like it could be a trap at all. If we land right here, we could break in, or we would, there's probably a spawn up top on the tower. Did we see that, actually? Can we verify that? Ah, it takes too long to do that now. And if there's a spawn up there, there's a spawn down here too. Um, don't want to break. <laughs> Uh, if there's a spawn up there, it hasn't spawned yet, probably, so it would spawn if we end a pearl here, so it would have mobs above us. But they don't have a really good path to us, because those are copper bars, so they'd have to go to the corner, and then I don't know if they can. They can probably drop down there, but it wouldn't be easy for them to path find, so we might have a couple of seconds to, like, I don't know, make that safe. And then we could dig up, break that spawner, and peek in there, break the spawner in there. I don't know. It doesn't seem worth it. There is an enemy in here. That looks very scary. I don't know why, but it looks very scary. Or we spawned a ghast, I guess. Maybe we did. Oh, it has a fair amount of health. Okay. That spawned up somewhere. Maybe here or, or here, I guess. Yeah. Uh, that that carpet floor, I don't know. Can you fall through carpets? I mean, you can you can have them over nothing. And if I block up, they they disappear, right? I'm not sure. We did get some light in there, so it should be safer. That enderman, <laughs> he's like aggressively patrolling this castle war. I don't like it. Yeah, there was a baby again that dropped. I don't like the babies. They're the most scary thing, I think. I really want to get rid of that. Like, a char charge creepers are scary. The wizard skeletons I'm fine with. Uh, they don't They don't really seem very threatening. Um, but the baby zombie pigmen are just not good news. I don't know the range of these spawners. They have not made any progress, and I feel like I should rush something at least, but it feels like such a bad idea to do that. Oh yeah, okay, babies in here. So there are babies on, up top in that other tower too. Most likely. Up there somewhere. And they can drop down. I don't like, see, I don't like mobs dropping down on me. That's why I want, so, <laughs> that's why that ender pearl idea is so tempting to me. The thing is, if I go up there, I mean, I have another ender pearl. I'm not, like, definitely stuck. It's not an easy throw, is the other thing. If I overthrow, I'm in trouble. That happens. That was bad. <laughs> ah, charge creepers, why? Everything else would have been fine and I missed my shot with the bow and there was not enough space to back off. Ah, that was bad. Well, now we died. Ah oh, man, that was stupid. I should not have done that. I, I, I kept saying it was stupid. <laughs> and I still really felt the need to do it anyway. Ah, uh, what's the quickest? I need to rush back over there, actually. Uh, yeah, I'm just not gonna bring anything. I think most of my stuff should be fine over there. We felt like the... It was just too much of a drop, I guess. I feel really stupid now. It wasn't even just one. Uh, wait, it's the wrong rail. I hate this. I hate everything right now. I should have tried blocking. I just thought he would die. That was my mistake. I thought that was enough. 
damage, but it wasn't. It clearly wasn't enough damage. I hope there was no fire over there. Uh, I might be close to those blaze spawners too, which could, you know, kill me again. Ah, so stupid. And now we can't even get back up there, even though we broke that, you know, that spawn, and I can't get up to that tower again. It's really frustrating me. And of course, we spawned like a thousand things. Like here, I don't even know where where I landed. Exactly down here. Uh. My bow gone? No. That's the only thing I can't really replace. Oh, there it is. Okay, I think everything survived. Am I missing something? Let's just go in here for a second. Got that back. Got that back. Got that back. Got that back. Got my stake. And the torches, the blocks. I think that's my entire kit. Wow, I got lucky. So yeah, that was stupid. <laughs> also, half the tower is now gone. Did that chest survive? I think it did, that's crazy. I just really don't like taking on like things like this. I I don't know. I <laughs> we had that one room where we could have rushed, but it looked like the the floor was a trap. And then I don't know. It was just a bad decision to end the pearl up there. Now I'm out of end of pearls. <sighs> but I got everything back. That's really crazy. Resistance did good for us there, or protection, I should say. Did not have resistance. With resistance, we could have survived. Maybe I should have eaten f sooner, but I I wanted to be safe because I was like at half a heart, and then but my my resist not resistance my protection saved me for a little bit, I guess. Um, which definitely helped. <sighs> These baby zombies or pigmen, I hate them. In a way, a uh, food medium. Well, <laughs> that's not great. I'll take it though. I'll just okay. Found a spawner. <laughs> That's not too bad. Yeah, we would have been right here. Could have broken that spawn for the war. Everything would have been amazing. But the creeper had to launch us off. Lar. That's the floor I patched in. Yeah. It's way too many of those guys. off why is the hole there <laughs> what is going on okay so that's the we just got the spawner that i said was not very threatening i guess i stand by that and oh dear we have this guy needs to go let's just kill all of these guys i guess okay i see the gas spawner too the thing is, like, I I believe that the this up here was going to be the gas spawner. That's why I. That's kind of why I took the risk. If I had known it was, you know, charge creepers, I probably would not have done it. Uh, 
still obviously a bad decision uh, either way oh they have flame of course I, I don't know let's just block these gaps a little bit or entirely and okay right here so this guy is am I safe in here I should be yeah I am okay it's just one I guess that's not a big big deal I can deal with that dying once is not too bad I guess still not happy about it uh <laughs> Yeah, I want to get rid of that spawner now. Also, I really thought they would struggle more pathfinding around the uh, wars, but they didn't. They didn't care at all. Re really, which is not great. I'm spinning that spawner. I'm not. I know. I'm aware of it. Spawn the charge creeper over in that next tower. Right there. It dropped. Uh, that's why it was low health, I guess. Ah. Uh, huh. They could. Things could drop out of the air, is the thing. Otherwise, it would probably be a good idea to rush this room and then work up. Even though working up is always a bad idea. We could also stack up. I don't know. I also really don't like these speedy uh, baby zombies pathfinding around down there. It's just making me nervous. <laughs> Oh yeah, the sound is just... They might have a path. Actually. I don't think they do. We don't have a path to safety now though, for sure. Cause... And they are out there now, I guess that's... Good? <laughs> it's not really good. Okay, creepers over there. get to that from here probably still spinning it which is not great okay uh, below me is a spider was a spider what's else what else is below me there's no spawner here I find that hard to believe oh there is of course there's a spawner there always is a spawner Look like there's one in this room, right? Uh, you know what? I don't know exactly where that spawner is. I hope this is only a one thick floor. I was just gonna blow up this room. Launched me up. I don't like this gas spawner. Should maybe break it. Okay. Ah, this is 
such a bad place. Like, everything about this sucks. Uh, I feel safe-ish right here because I have two blocks like, around me. I can't, wow. Alright, this okay. That's not safe. Uh do they have line of sight to me here? I don't think they will. above me here. More spawners? No? Just an empty room? But then what's above that? <laughs> Who knows? Probably something bad. Spread open stuff. Ugh. Okay, there are pigment up there. I don't. I don't like that. Uh, so if you're were to spawn, where would you be? Not exactly in the middle, but close enough, I guess. That was there, so that if there was this pigment standing right there, I would not far down here will get stuck on that rock. That's why I did that, just in case that wasn't clear. Okay. We're up now, which makes me feel, I guess, better? Let's say, let's say better, yeah. Doesn't make me feel good, but it makes me feel a little bit better about what we're doing right here. Now, if I could have a safe way of killing these pigmen, that would be great. I guess you want to do that same thing again, maybe. Get more to stand right there to kill them. Because you won't have another way down, right? Pretty sure. Just need to aggro them now. Pants are big, okay. They have a name too. One up there at least. Is that it? No. There's more still. How? How are you so stupid? <laughs> Find the gap, come on. Oh they they hurt. I like don't like that. <laughs> Is that it now? I don't hear anymore, but we spawned a lot of them. Considering we weren't even here that long. Then up here. Okay, the gold blocks. Right, right, right. Okay. Uh, these cannot really be trapped because we know that there's nothing underneath them here. And these are our sorry blocks, so. So we have one, two, three, and then two and two right there. If we had more ender pearls, <laughs> we could do some things, but we don't. Uh, all right. I mean, we, we cleared this tower, I guess. That's progress, right? 
<laughs> I hate going up against spawners so much. It's just always scary. Oh yeah, we spawned a million of these guys below us too. I could try and blow up that spawn actually. Is that a gold block? It might be. Do I care about one gold block? Honest answer? Nah. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't really care. I think this is gonna be close enough. That's also actually... Correct more down there. And then... There's a gold block there, and that was a trap. <laughs> the carpet was a trap. I feel I feel justified in slow playing this room then. Would have been a pretty bad trap. We would fall into love and die. Which one of you guys saw me? Not this guy. But which one? Oh yeah, these baby guys are small, right? Just maybe do something like this. I hear way too many things. Oh my comfort here. Oh yeah, these guys are surviving down there. I guess shooting them doesn't make a big difference. these guys unfortunately but oh there's one I don't hear that many angry pigmen screams anymore so we are probably approaching a point where we have that problem under control how long is this episode it's long enough we should probably end it uh, so maybe I can't reach that it's not baby, baby zombie proof. There used to be a ladder right there. Uh, this is not safe yet, apparently. Where did this guy go? Where is he? What? He just left. He just left. He doesn't care about fighting, I guess. Has to be another spawn, I guess. Such a bad place. <laughs> Everything about this is bad. Yeah, I don't know what to do. Like, I can't really crowd control these guys. That's just way too many. these guys, the pants of pigs down there. We'll just keep spawning them here, so this is not worth my time at all. And I can't really leave, is another thing. 
that's not really great. What's that other one? That's oh, an arrow. Can't put that out. Where do you go? Well, he just disappeared, I guess. Oh, there. Yeah. I think he despawned. Okay, that's that's fine. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Is this down there safe? Yeah, this floor is safe, right? But the one below is not. Can't hit things like he yeah. That's just. But arrow is in a really bad spot right here. There you go. He's cast and moving. That's way too much space for them to move. It's all wide open. I kind of need to check one thing, I guess, before we quit for today. I kind of want to get rid of that gas bomb, but I want to see, are these guys still here? Not the army that was there before. I guess that's a positive. Uh, I think that's too high, yeah, even despawned because he's so far away. I, mean, I can't really bridge out there, it's too scary. I really don't want that spawn anymore, though. Like, it's just a bad... Why is this a stair? And that's not good. It's not like I shut off here. Okay, that's gone. That's good. More progress. This floor below me is not safe at all. Still get under that bridge. Yes, they can. I need a way out of here. That's safe. I want, I want stuff to settle down a little. As in, I want them to despawn. Um, we could try and make a run for it, and hope not too many of the babies follow us. We could shoot the babies, but we would just aggro all of them then, and then who knows how many that would be, because I hear a lot of them. I don't have very many blocks, that's another issue. I, I don't think out here is actually safe. Because that's very likely a way to get to that spot, right? Or to this spot. And yeah, like normal mobs, no problem. Like we have two rock stars, I can just peek into holes and stuff, but the babies, they just fit through every gap. So that's not good. I have water bucket, I could escape through here, but I don't want to really bridge over there. Okay, they're going in here and out here, I guess. <laughs> See how many there are left. Way too many. But they are pushing each other off. How are there still so many of these guys? So many of them into lava already and they're still like a thousand like the yeah those are the scariest things so far in the map i don't i don't, I don't like that one bit i feel like i'm being followed i'm not sure if it's true yes i am wow these guys have a huge follow distance too which makes them even scarier 
And they're like really fast. Look at that. That's just nothing good. That's what that is. All right, so uh, we didn't we didn't finish the map of zero deaths. We didn't finish the map at all yet. That last area is not good. I don't like it. It just feels impossible to tackle it because it, it's so hard. Like going in from the bottom is just a bad idea. I, I feel I feel like because. We never know which room connects to what. We don't know where the doors are. We don't know where the spawners are. And then there's always the threat of, you know, traps. Like that one spawner that we blew up. That was definitely a trap, a uh, rock update trap. If you break that spawner, floor just goes away. So that's no good. Man, yeah, this is a scary place. We're out of ender pearls, um, which I don't like at all. We should try and, and, and correct that, um, maybe, if you get the chance. I mean, we did take out, what, one, two, three, four, five, six spawners or something like that? <laughs> but that's all in that tiny area, like, it's very cramped. Which also makes it so that you always are spawning mobs, like, everywhere. Like, ahead of you, above you, below you, everywhere. Um, so, yeah, not, not great. Not great at all. Uh, we should probably try and find the remaining baby pigmen uh, spawners because those are the scariest things ever. And then after we've done that, I don't know. We'll find something to do. Yeah, <laughs> this is not this is not going as well as I thought it would. I thought I had enough armor to take some risks, and then I took a stupid risk. And it didn't pay off. I mean, I guess we secured that tower. Uh, man, it was so... I, I still can't believe, one, that our stuff survived, and two, I can't believe how poorly I played that up there. I was, there were many things I could have done better. The smart thing would have been to dig down and block myself in or something. I, would, I didn't want to dig into the tower because I knew there were pigmen in there, but yeah. It was just a bad decision to throw the end pearl in the first place. But yeah, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed. And next time we'll, I don't know, I'll try to clear this, but I, I really don't know if I can. <laughs> in one episode it is. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.